Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So here's the ironic part, right? And the, the most amazing part about Wall Street, right? And the Securities Exchange Commission, all that good stuff. Um, they want to make sure that there is a direct level playing field, okay? Uh, that institutional investors, retail investors, fund managers, mutual fund managers, pension fund managers, and everybody under the sun has the same public information and it's all good and everybody's in the same level playing field. And the most amazing part about Wall Street, okay, it really is, you know, just so ironic. Again, there's so many different rules that the Securities Exchange Commission tries to protect the investors. For example, especially a lot of you guys know that if you are under, I think it's $25,000, there's something called the pattern of day trading rule, which basically says the Securities Exchange Commission is trying to tell you that they are protecting you from yourself because they deem that you are an unsophisticated investor or trader, whatever the case may be. So they only limit you to three, I think three or four day trades, whatever it is uh, for the week or whatever the case may be. And the most amazing part is the biggest irony, okay, of the level playing field is that they are not monitoring what big money is really doing. And if you if you watch last night's video, okay, and we talked about, and I said, hey, you know, we should keep an eye on BYND. Uh, last week, you started seeing, you know, guys coming in, around when the stock was 74 bucks or so, you started seeing 500 lots of the 79 weeklies. Now, why is that, why is that odd? Well, because the stock was at 74 and the stock was kind of dead money, right? This is all dead money throughout the week. And then we saw more call buying again yesterday, right? Random call buying again yesterday. Again, the 79 weeklies. Again, why is that, why are these bets being made? Okay, you can't be that good of a market timer. Like, why are these bets being made at that time? And yada, 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 like magic, right? Like absolute magic, uh, BYND wakes up today, okay? It wakes up today, uh, because some people have impeccable timing. Again, the you know the, the fair the the fair and equitable level playing field that everybody's on, and those guys who started buying 500 lots, okay, and had a big bet prior to uh, New Year's as well, they got paid today, right? And they got paid today very very aggressively. And if you believe in the theory of watching watching option order flow, and, I'm a, and again, as everybody knows. I'm a novice when it comes to options. The only thing I know is buy calls, buy puts. Okay, I don't know what iron condors or magical unicorns or butter, you know, butterflies or anything in between is. I'm, I'm, again, I'm probably always going to be uh, the biggest novice in the room when it comes to options. But I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of picked up on something last year and I started incorporating into my into my trading, into my pivots, all that stuff. These guys that put these out of the money bets that kind of open up your eyes and raise your eyebrows. Right, you know how somebody always says somebody always knows something. You know what? Somebody always does. And the most amazing part is, I can't believe it took me this long. Right, it, it only took me up to like last year to finally start incorporating option order flow uh, into my trading, into my pivots, which is amazing. Like I, like I was sitting back and just thinking about it the other day that I couldn't believe that I actually used to trade without without option order flow. It's it's like literally you have a pivot. You're waiting for the confirmation, and then you're getting a bulldozer. Literally, literally, you're getting a bulldozer to come in and give you and give you like that extra ace. Like you're holding two aces, and all of a sudden, you know, you're you're just waiting for that extra ace. And the most amazing part is, again, somebody always knows something. So for all you guys who, who don't use option flow, and again, you don't need to be an option trader. I'm not an option trader. I'm an equity guy. But for all you guys who don't use option flow um, as your kind of like day to day. You know, like just to see with the color of the market and see who has an ax in the market, how much flow is going into a name, into a strike price, out of the money, all that good stuff. I, I, I really would suggest you invest a very, very small amount of money, uh, invest in a product. There's plenty of options scan scanners out there. I, again, I, I think it's just so much easier to know that smart money or at least money that knows something is going into the trades and makes you that much more confident. And the most amazing part was, you know, this trade started out 
so innocently, like I like really, really so innocently. And we started watching some big volume today, right? And you know, we we knew that there was order flow uh, on B, Y, and D for the last you know for the last week or so, five hundred lots at a time, the seventy nine. Uh, the 79 weeklies. And I was just sitting there. I go, hey, man, that 7720 is a big spot. It's a really, really a big spot on the daily. And I go, look, if this thing, if it starts to reclaim, right? If it starts to reclaim, again, the big balls, uh, big uh, call buyers coming in. If this thing reclaims, this thing can go. And this damn thing, just again, it started out so innocently. And then next thing you know, you started seeing 80 calls, 85 calls, 90 calls, 100 calls. I'm talking about one after another. They, they were just walking in. And they were just blasting these things again, maybe you know, just really, really aggressively. And the stock just took off. Just it really took off. I thought it had a shot to 81 today. That's what I was saying today in, in, in the live open. I said, I go, you know, there's a shot. This thing gets to 81, and it got to 81, right? It got to 81, and, and then I went to lunch, right? I went to lunch, and then I see the damn thing trading at 83, right? Went to 83, and it went ultimately 84. So for all you guys who who caught this trade all the way, and I, don't, I know some of you guys are still holding calls and kind of flipped them into the 90s, whatever you know, whatever the case may be. It's just absolutely amazing. And again, I, I know some, P, some PR came out after the close, McDonald's maybe is not using it, whatever the hell it is. It doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't make a difference. The moral of the story is uh, the guys who have the order flow, right? The order flow that dumping hundreds of thousands of dollars, a million dollars into these bets out of the money, again, fair and equitable and level playing field, yeah, not so much. And kind of segue that into Amazon. If you look at Amazon as well, you know, we were talking about Amazon uh, yesterday. We were talking about, you know, I, I felt the stock was going to go today. And it, and it kind of did, sort of did. I still like it. Uh, it went as high as the 1915. Um, I, I thought the pivots overall today were pretty good. But again, kind of just to tie a ribbon around this option, option flow activity. Um, we started seeing two weeks ago, okay, when Amazon was at 18... 33, 1840, they were coming in with size. I mean, these guys were coming in with size. You had the 18, uh, the, the 1890s, the 1895s, the 1900s, the 1910s. We started seeing the 1950s, the 2000s, the 2100. Again, I understand a lot of it is going to cover uh, the earnings, but damn, these guys just know, man. They just really, really know. And again, it's just amazing how Smart money is always on the right side of these trades. And I still like Amazon, I like everything else. Uh, if you look at today's activity, again, very aggressive day. Okay, another aggressive day. Semis are very, very strong. You had, you had MU getting an upgrade. NVIDIA, obviously. Um, NVIDIA was a really big focus on our list from last night. So was Amazon. The ironic part about today's session, again, Tesla is just out of control. We don't even talk about Tesla anymore. There's no even point to even talk about Tesla. The most amazing part about today's, today's rap, well, not rally, but today's action was you had the Dow down 120 points, you had the NASDAQ red, and some of these stocks were acting like the NASDAQ composite was up 200 points. And that's the, the greatest sign about a bull market. Again, a bull market is here until it's not. A bull market is here until there's a buyer strike and everything is all good. But again, it's just a really, really amazing how the bears have all this ammo. They have all this ammo. They have a for, forsaken attack, right? Some sort of, you know, some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, aggressive nature when I ran on the table and they still can't stop the speculation money and they're buying and buying and buying and buying. And even the stocks that are resting on the day, for example, uh, like at Amazon is only up four, bu four bucks today. Again, building over that 1900 level. And I still think the stock goes higher. Um, it's just amazing. They just there's no fear. Nobody wants to get rid of their shares. And the most amazing part of even a rest day, speculation money still gets bid. So if you look at uh, today's session, obviously uh, this was I mean just a ridiculous move, seventy seven to eighty five. Okay, I, I thought it was going to stop at eighty one. It went to eighty five. If you held it all the way through, congratulations. But hell, it's a good trade. I mean, it was a really really good trade. And then you started seeing some pretty good, I mean, like really good pivots. If you watched last night's video, uh, and, and by the way, you, you guys, unfortunately, we released by accident the full version of the video, okay? And you saw every pivot yesterday, and you saw NVIDIA, and you saw Amazon, and like everything. So we did that by accident. But again, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. But um, it was an accident, but you guys enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, most important part, again, you can see how bullish I was yesterday. What I didn't like, um, I didn't, what I didn't like today uh, Netflix didn't participate. Roku didn't participate, which, which again, if you look at how they closed yesterday, and again, this was just kind of a little odd, which I, you know, I, I'm not really in love. If you look how Netflix closed yesterday, 
I would have bet my pinky toe. And again, thank God I didn't. But I would have bet my pinky toe the stock would have taken out these highs here. And also Roku first closed over the 50-day moving average. You would have you would have thought that they would have both confirmed, but they didn't. And they didn't. And that's why, again, I always say you can't anticipate a breakout confirmation. We actually have to wait for the breakout uh, confirmation. So uh, going into tomorrow, again, look, uh, news came out. Futures are down a little bit after the close. The question is, can the bulls, right, can the bulls, uh, defend levels again. Again, so far, so good. I mean, you, you can just tell, so far, so good. Every gap down has been bought, and this was kind of like a res day uh, for the indexes. So it'll be interesting to see if the bulls uh, defend any type of gap down, if there even is one tomorrow. Uh, gun to my head, I say they do. But again, who the hell knows? Does it really even matter if you're wrong or not? As long as, look, you're going to be wrong every single day with your opinion, okay? As long as you are monetary solvent, right? As long as you're good to go, you're fine. You know, we make bad choices every day. We may have bad opinions every day. As long as you don't, uh, as long as you are not pigheaded, as long as you are not stubborn and keep on in that one bias when obviously the reality is going in a different direction. So uh, let's talk about today's pivots. Um, some good stuff. I mean, again, Amazon got defended. Uh, the, the gap down got bought, uh, closed over daily supply, uh, red to green, and obviously, you know, 1901 is a big number, needs to reclaim and build 1901. Uh, red to green, obviously, for experienced traders. Note this is not a pivot, just momentum. It needs to reclaim 1909 to go. So uh, Amazon broke the 1901, went red to green, went to 1909. The funny thing is, I actually traded Amazon twice today, and twice I just missed that big move. I had four or five bucks twice on the trade, and I thought it was going to explode up 20, and I never made any sales up four or five. I'm talking about twice. I'm talking about twice. And I look back, I go, oh, shit, that's 10 points. Never took the you know never took the money off. So I had a, the most ironic part is that I actually had a couple of flat trades on Amazon today. Again, I always take profits, but again, I had so so much conviction it was going to go. I still like it. Uh, I still like it for tomorrow. We're going to wait for. Uh, I want to see how it reacts to any type of dip tomorrow into the rising uh, sixty minute channel uh, again. Square again. Was this the biggest move in the world? Probably not. Uh, sixty five on Square got upgraded today. No, not a big move uh, at all, but. Uh, 65 went to like uh, 65.50. If you took the trade, I, I had no interest in it. Uh, Netflix, again, never confirmed. Very, very odd. Uh, Roku, never confirmed. Very, very odd. NVIDIA just absolutely exploded. Uh, exploded with uh, the rest of the semiconductors. Uh, here was the 238. We talked about this on the video last night. Uh, 238, and here's the 238, right? 238. And it exploded and went right almost to 42. Why is 42 a big number? Well, because that's the 52-week high. So tomorrow we're going to watch this level for more continuation. But again, big, big move on NVIDIA as well. Uh, GBT, I still like. Verisign, again, not a big move, but a dollar move, you know, dollar or so move. Uh, it actually broke out yesterday. Uh, we talked about that 201, uh, 201 and a half level. It just confirmed today again, went to like 204. Again, you know, a trade is a trade is a trade. So if you took that, good job there uh, as well. Uh, TTD exploded. Uh, TTD 280 uh, needs to reclaim, right? TTD 280 needs to reclaim. It went to uh, 285 and a half. So that was good as well. Uh, shop just went nuts. That opening candle was just outrageous. Uh, 416 needs to build. And here was shop, right? Here was the shop 416, right? Here was the 416 level and exploded. Put up a you know almost the eight dollar candle like instantly. Uh, big big move there as well. Let's see what else. Shop just just went nuts. Nvidia monster, Amazon better, blah 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 blah, and uh, everything else. Uh, everything else was good to go. So uh, again, tomorrow you got to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Um, you got to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. I believe that this dip will get bought again, but again, who knows? So we, we have to watch uh, early weakness confirmation, early strength confirmation, and everything else will fall uh, into place. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas um, for all you guys. Going forward, again, I saw a little bit of volume today that I didn't like. Uh, I think it had something to do with um, the pivots were, were kind of uh, by accident. We, 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 uh, we released the video uh, to, the, to the public. Um, so I think some artificial volume came in officially, uh, initially. Um, again, there's millions and millions of shares. It doesn't make a difference. But I, I know how a pivot generally sets up versus artificial volume. So what we're going to do is kind of going forward, we're only going to give you guys uh, non-beta ideas for the day. Uh, for all you guys who are uh, joining us in the live webinar, you know, please come to, to the please come to Morning Strategy. 
uh, bright and early so we can discuss uh, the, the beta feeds, okay, the beta uh, pivots. So let me give you guys, uh, let me give you guys some non-beta ideas for tomorrow that I like. Um, I kind of like Uber, you know, I, I do. I kind of like Uber, um, you know, nice move today. First close um, out of supply, right? First close out of supply. If it starts reclaiming, you know, 32.90, 33 for tomorrow, you could get a nice move up. I mean, again, beautiful. This is beautiful. Again, first close uh, over supply. Uh, that looks really, really nice. Um, I like this GBT, okay? Uh, GBT had a really, really huge run uh, in November. And now it's just kind of basic. If you look at the last three days, uh, 79.97, uh, 79.80, and today's high was 79.99. If it could just reclaim 80, right? If this thing can reclaim 80, there's a shot it goes back to uh, 82. So keep an eye on that. And I kind of like this little uh, small cap stock for all you guys who do trade small caps. Um, there was a buyer that came in here. Um, I believe it's for, let me see what it was. I believe it was, he bought a thousand. Uh, he bought a thousand. Of the January of the January five calls uh, of the January five calls that expire on the seventeenth, so he's taking a shot. Whether he knows something, whether he doesn't know something. Uh, anyway, if the stock can reclaim uh, three sixty seven, three seventy, there's a shot this thing uh, really wakes up. Uh, everything else on for the beta side, guys. Please get to morning strategy early tomorrow. We'll talk about Netflix and Tesla and Amazon and NVIDIA and everything else. Guys, God bless, good job, and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.